What's going on guys, Twin coming at you with another MLB The Show 19 video. Today we have 99 Joe Morgan making his debut for the team, replacing Roberto Alomar at least for today. So we're going for 199 or more likes on this video. Feel free to subscribe if you guys are new, getting closer and closer to 37,000 subscribers. At that point, we will have doubled our sub count since the launch of MLB 19. So thank you guys for the insane support. Comment down below your thoughts on this 99 Joe Morgan card. Follow on any of the social media. Sub to the Fortnite channel on the road to 2,000 subscribers in that description. Thank you to our channel members for the extra support. Real quick before we get into this game, we can check out Joe Morgan's stats. 101 and 98 for the contact, 85 and 72 for the power. A lot of vision sitting at 124, some solid fielding and some great speed as well. I've had some success with this card in Battle Royale this year. So I'm hoping that can carry over to ranked seasons and he can have a good debut here today. We're playing the New York Angie Peppers. Our opponent has 99 Roberto Alomar, Michael Scott. Yo, anyone in the comment section, let me know. Do you guys like the show The Office? It's probably one of my top two favorite shows of all time. Mike Trout, 99 Lou Gehrig, Nolan Arenado, 99 Tony Gwynn, Cal, 93 Ichiro, 99 Nolan Ryan on the mound. We got 99 Bob Gibson on the mound. Our opponent's rated A62, so this is going to be a Hall of Fame difficulty game fun fact i think you guys might already know this but my only losses this year are on hall of fame difficulty games and ball four to mike trout from three and oh though to three and two and i think i said i might have said this year and i meant this season like all, all my losses this current season have been on hall of fame difficulty a lot of them have been in this very situation where i'm above 900 and we're playing uh someone below 900 and i just end up losing the game so Hopefully we can win today and not and not have that happen. Maybe break the curse a little bit. And we're going to the bottom of the first inning. 0-0. Zero, zero, no runs allowed, even though we walked Mike Trout. And Joe Morgan in his debut. On top of that one a little bit. First at bat, grounding out. After one inning, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Hit it pretty hard, though. Uh, you know, that, uh, that at bat felt pretty good. And uh, I'm excited to see what he can do the rest of the game. Nolan Arenado leading off. Bob Gibson on the mound. And Matt Williams at shortstop today. Making the play. I've been struggling a lot with Cal, so I decided to put Matt Williams in and just try him out for a game here. Cal Ripken Jr. for our opponents. Grabs the first hit of the game. Going to be probably a double. Each row field in that one. Yeah, going to be a double. I was about to say one out. Two out double here. Each row coming up to back. Going to try to get him out here. Get out of the inning. And there we go. Joe Morgan. Look at that, guys. He fields it with one hand, and then, yo, get this, and then he takes the ball out of the glove, okay, and makes a perfect throw to first base to get the guy out, man. You don't see that too often from second baseman. Ooh. Man, I, I gotta say, <laughs> I gotta stop letting him hit it to this spot. So the first double we gave up was uh, the last inning. This is the third inning. One down this time instead of two. And it was a sinker down the middle. There's a change up a little bit below the zone, but uh, probably need to get it further if we want to be throwing some change ups. And uh, I got I to gotta make sure we don't allow this run. And create a player for our opponent. Advances the runner. Second out of the inning. There is that runner, though. 90 feet away from scoring. Going to try to stop him from it. Mike Trout coming up. We walked him last time. Mike Trout hit it hard. But my left fielder out there, Duke Snyder, who I'm also grabbing a game with, is, uh, wait, did I put Tony Gwynn in right field? I hope I did. I think I did. But Duke Snyder out there in left field, making the grab, going to the bottom of the third inning, still tied 0-0, still looking for my first base hit of the game as Matt Williams grounds down to third. Tony Gwynn, there we go, man. Has every single hit been into the left center field gap today? I'm pretty sure it is. I think that's only the third hit of the game. It's my first hit. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning leading off, top of my lineup. And that's my first base runner of the game. I'll definitely take it. And we're going to try to drive him in because it's the top of my line. We got Frank Thomas up to bat. It sounds like runs to me. Playing in beautiful Bayfront Park. As Frank Thomas hits it deep. Ichiro has a cannon. It's not that deep, actually. I think I would have been gunned at, at, at third. I'm pretty sure we would have been out. Even with 89 speed, I really didn't want to risk it. Joe Morgan coming up, though. Huge at bat here in his debut, guys. I would love him to come through. Joe Morgan. That's going to advance the runner, okay? Man, we just missed that one, too. Getting a little bit under it. It should advance the runner. Tony Gwynn is a cannon as well. 89 speed. Tony Gwynn can't throw around Tony Gwynn, so I think it's my creative player, I hope. Yeah, creative player coming up. That's a great pitch to hit. I got to be hitting those. Creative player. Dang, man. I choked it a little bit. We got the leadoff base hit, but overall, it has not been a great game for me on the plate, and I don't think this could be. I don't think it is, but this could be. 
Uh, but I, again, I don't think it is the first video you guys are seeing today. But it's my first game of MLB today. It's the first video that I'm recording, even though it might not be the first one going up. And I didn't warm up at all before this. I haven't played in uh, in about... I would, say, I would say I haven't played a game of MLB in about... Yeah, that's gone. Uh, I haven't played a game of MLB in about, you know, 20, 22 hours or so. And uh, and I'm definitely... I, I, I think I probably should have warmed up. You know, I'm, I'm definitely a little bit rusty here. That one getting past Joe Morgan. I'm going to focus up. I'm probably going to warm some bullpen guys up too just in case. But I'm going to really try to focus up getting out of this inning. Without allowing any more runs. He's bunting. He's not steal Or he is stealing. So yeah, runner advancing. Stolen base in scoring position. Nobody down. He's bunting. Runner's advancing to third. Wow. So the steal and then the sacrifice. Now only one down. A deep fly ball scores that run. And we're down by two. Not what I wanted. I'm tempted to walk Roberto Alomar. Oh, man. I don't want to catch it. I, I should, but I don't want to. We might have him at home. I hope we have him at home. I really do. No, he's scoring. Maybe I shouldn't have caught it and gun for the strikeout, but we're down two to nothing here. Top of the fifth inning. Ichiro, there we go. One out base hit, bottom of the fifth inning. If we could somehow cut the lead in half and or tie the game here, that'd be so sick. Matt Williams, dang, man. Popping out to the right fielder. Out number two. Duke Snyder, yes, sir. Oh, man, no doubter. Wow, that one out of the stadium pretty much. Oh my goodness, Duke Snyder coming through in the clutch, tying the game with two down. Bob Gibson grabs a base, said, yo, two out rally, maybe continuing. How sick would a Tony Gwynn two-run shot be here with two down, keeping the two-out rally going? Tony Gwynn, oh man, I doubt, oh wait, oh, he's going to second. <laughs> I was like, wait, what is he doing? But we tied the game. And I got guys warming up in the bullpen just in case, but I'm going to leave Bob Gibson in a little longer. Only at 50 pitches, 51 pitches here at top of the sixth inning. I just got to pitch well and uh, hopefully get out of this inning, go to the bottom of the sixth, still tied. Luke Eric, look at that. So many hits this game into that same exact spot. Luke Eric grabbing a one-out base hit, hung a curveball a little bit. And uh, again... Hopefully we can get out of this inning without allowing a run. Nolan Arenado, but uh, Nolan Arenado, there we go, coming up to bat. Nolan Arenado jamming him a little bit, out number two. Okay, one out away from getting out of trouble. Man, it's making me nervous that there's a runner sitting in scoring position. Tony Gwynn down the line. Frank Thomas not able to field it, and he's going to be out, I think. Yeah, he's out. Oh, man, that was close. Oh, a lot closer than I wanted it to be. Frank Thomas, 0 for 2 today, trying to be 1 for 3. Joe Morgan in his debut, 0 for 3 today. I'm struggling with him. I'm struggling with everybody, though. It's not just him. I'm not having a great game at the plate, and uh, at, le at least we are not having a terrible day on the mound, right? We're going to try with two down here in the bottom of the six to get a little bit of a rally going, but if we don't, going to try to keep pitching how we've been in the top of the seventh. Creative player goes the other way. Mike Trout probably going to get there. Yeah, Mike Trout getting in there. After six innings, it's 2-2. Two to two. And ball four to Cal Ripken Jr. Lead off walk. That was not great. I'm going to go ahead and bring in, uh, I think, Johnny Venters here. He's going to face a lefty. He's going to face a pitcher spot, a pinch hitter, and then a switch hitter. So I feel like Johnny Venters is hopefully a good move right here. And Ichiro popping out, out number one. There we go. He's stealing. Strike him out, throw him out. Getting out of the inning. Joe Morgan, beautiful tag by Joe out there, man. He's a wizard. He's a magician. With that glove out there at second base, going to the bottom of the seventh inning, definitely want to take the lead here. Josh Donaldson facing Kenley Jansen. Another one into that gap out there. Lead off double for Josh Donaldson here. Bottom of the seventh inning. I have to drive him in here. If I want to win this game, we need to score this run. If we don't score this run, we don't win. Simple as that. Ichiro advances the runner and scores the runner. We're going to be a little bit aggressive here. We're going to have Ichiro in scoring position now. RBI double for him. Still no one down here in the bottom of the seventh inning. That's what I'm talking about, team. Let's keep it going. Matt Williams. Ooh, hit it hard. Right to the third baseman, though. That's out number one. Joe Morgan coming up. Actually, no, it's Duke Snyder. Uh, where, where am I at in my head, man? I, I'm lost. 
As Duke Snyder, I'm swinging at every pitch now. That's not good. He advances the runner at least, but... Man, that was just not great there. Let's pinch hit for Johnny Venters. We'll do Lou Gehrig here and uh, see if he can come through. I'm definitely not swinging at the first pitch of this at-bat, unless it's down the middle. I swung at the first pitch. We scored the run. Top of my lineup coming up, Tony Gwynn, extending our lead to two. Duke Snyder, not Duke Snyder. Lou Gehrig is. Tony Gwynn. Back-to-back two-out base hits. Okay. So, we want Frank Thomas to get on base, get a hit, do whatever he needs to do to get Joe Morgan another at bat. Frank Thomas. Oh, man. Just missing a three-run home run. Yo, over the beach zone. Oh, I would have loved to see how far that one was going to be. Frank Thomas. I was ready for the high inside pitch. It's where I was looking, but uh, it was a little bit higher and a little bit more inside than I, I should have been swinging at. And Joe Morgan's going to lead off our half of the eighth inning. Oh, Joe Morgan, please get down. I need this. I need this. No. Joe Morgan, 0 for 4 in his debut, man. My debuts are cursed, guys. And that's strike three. We win the game. Dylan Matanza is getting a six-ounce save, I'm pretty sure. I'm happy to win that game because now we, I, I, I think it's four wins away. I'm pretty sure we are four wins away from breaking my rank season's personal record. And I'm really hoping we can just go on a winning streak and uh, continue to get that rating up. After that game, I definitely need to... Pitching, I've, I've been happy in ranked seasons especially. Battle Royale, not so much. But in ranked seasons recently, I've been happy with my pitching. Uh, I think I've only allowed two runs or less in the past, like, three games. Every, like, not, I mean, per game, right? Two runs or less per game in the, last, in the last two or three games, I'm pretty sure. So that's been nice. Bob Gibson, I think, has been on the mound for all of them. Which, you know, maybe has something to do with it. But uh, we're definitely playing a little bit better. And I'm hoping that, you know, if I go to record the next Ranked Seasons video for today, I'm a little bit more warmed up to play and can have a little bit better day hitting than I did this game. Overall for Joe Morgan, not an amazing debut. 0 for 4, kind of disappointed in myself. But I'm sure he'll get some more opportunities in the future for my team. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment anything down below. Feel free to follow on any of the social medias or something to that Fortnite channel down in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you as always for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.